in two days, two vastly different tones from President Trump. Today, in a speech to the American Legion. It is time to heal the wounds that divide us and to seek a new unity based on the common values that unite us. But last night at a campaign rally in Phoenix. The only people giving a platform to these hate groups is the media itself and the fake news. The president facing renewed backlash after defiantly retreading his response to Charlottesville. We condemn in the strongest possible terms this egregious display of hatred, bigotry, and violence. That's me speaking on Saturday. But notably omitting the words that caused so much Thank you outrage. Very much. Hatred, bigotry, and violence on many sides. On many sides. The president taking swipes at both of Arizona's Republican senators and backing the rest of the GOP into a corner on his controversial border wall. Believe me, we have to close down our government. We're building that wall. Last night's fiery rhetoric, a far cry from Monday's somber and scripted address on Afghanistan. They sound entirely different. And I think we know which one's the real one. I think the real one showed up in uh, Phoenix. President Trump today signing a bill to improve veterans health care, a presidential act potentially overshadowed by a speech reminiscent of his presidential campaign. And those jabs from the president last night at fellow Republicans only put further strain on his relationship with his own party. Of course, they will need each other if they hope to get anything done once Congress returns from recess next month. Blaine Alexander, NBC News, the White House.